Hello, my name is John Evans. I am Professor of Applied Neuropsychology and a Consultant Clinical Neuropsychologist. I work at the University of Glasgow. So my topic today is to talk about cognitive changes after brain injury. So first we need to think about what cognition or cognitive functions are. So really cognitive functions are the um, uh, brain processes that enable us to attend to the world around us, to think, to think quickly, to perceive, understand and interact with the world, to communicate, to learn and remember, and to solve problems, to make plans, to organise ourselves, and to control or regulate our behaviour and our emotions. So we could think about the brain processes that support these functions to include the ability to concentrate or to attend, um, to, uh, to think quickly so our, our brains are able to process information at speed, to perceive the world, so perception, Language is what underpins our ability to communicate. Memory enables us to learn and remember. And uh, our executive functions are those functions that enable us to, to plan and organise and to solve problems. So when we think about brain injury, of course any of these cognitive functions could be impaired as a consequence of brain injury. It's really going to depend on which part of the brain is affected by the injury. So what we know is that different parts of the brain control different functions, different cognitive functions. And so a whole variety of different uh, cognitive functions could be uh, affected by an injury to the brain, depending on which part is affected. But of course, it's not just uh, cognitive functions that are affected by an injury to the brain. It's our emotional functions and physical functions. And all of these contribute to having an impact on, on oh, the consequences for everyday life. So the extent to which cognitive or emotional or physical functions are affected uh, will depend or influence uh, what happens in terms of the difficulties with activities of daily living, with one's ability to participate in work, in leisure, in the community, in relationships, etc. And of course, all of these things interact as well. So uh, whether we're feeling depressed or anxious will affect our cognitive functions. Uh, physical functions such as fatigue um, will affect uh, both emotion and cognition. So the consequences of brain injury are complex uh, with these interacting systems uh, all affecting uh, what one is able to do in, in everyday life. So what I'm going to do in these talks is talk a little bit about each of the major cognitive functions um, and try and understand a little bit about them uh, and how they might uh, affect uh, everyday living after a brain injury. <laughs> 